Hey, I'm with Mike at Premier Pet Supply, and we've got little Dory here. But you know, Mike, finding the right crib for your fish is a lot harder than it looks. It can be, but it, it can be fun, too. Yeah, there's, there's a, so many options. There are a lot of options. Some are traditional, some are more contemporary. This one here is beautiful. It's got curved glass. The aesthetics are great. The thing to think about is what also goes into that crib that you right. talked about. So gravel, the right filter, getting a heater. Yeah, you got to make it look nice. Absolutely. And you want it to be, you know, in order to maintain it, you don't want it to be cumbersome and be a lot of work and something that you regret doing. Now, there's a lot of sizes to choose from as well, which, of course, affects the price. How do you keep it clean? So typically what we recommend, regardless of the filtration you get, is every four to six weeks, you do have to do a water change. Okay. You're taking half the water out. You're leaving the fish in there when you do it, and you replace it with fresh water. Now, the thing to think about is that in our tap water, there's chlorine and other metals right. in there. They're not ideal for the fish, but there's supplements and things you can put in the water that will help eliminate that and make it okay. So for me growing up, that goldfish bowl is what I always went to, yeah. but there's some more colorful, creative options for kids nowadays, right? Absolutely. And you know the goldfish bowl and the smaller type setups are more popular than they ever have been. Glowfish. Glowfish are interesting. These guys are uh, new and the kids love them. They're pretty pretty uh, great colors. They're actually genetically modified naturally to reproduce that way so they really? have those colors. And those smaller tanks are great. They're for good for kids and in their bedrooms. For millennials like you and people on the go that live a busy lifestyle, something small and simple and easy to upkeep. And speaking of these bright colors, just talk about the kind of fish that you have available here. So we have you know, the tetras that people have known forever and the neons and, and the glowfish actually you know you can see with the beautiful colors the pinks the purples oh, the yellows wow. the greens. Like look at the stripes on that one. Yeah those are tiger barbs they actually have that red neon added to them it, um, and in years past they used to use like chemical paints they used to inject the oh, fish no. with. It was no good we, we don't carry those at all. Okay. This is something like I had said that is more natural and the color is just beautiful so you can get that saltwater type looking fish set up in a regular freshwater tank. So when it comes to picking the right fish or finding the right tank, it's good to talk to an expert. Thanks, Mike. Thank you. My kids want to fish and we just talk about, hey, it's responsibility. Yeah, and you can find something that's really like eco-friendly and economical for your family. It's it, There's a lot of options out there. I didn't realize how many choices you had and just right. so many fish too to pick from. Beautiful. Well, coming up, it's Cinco de Mayo. And